a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. We're going to take a look now at what's going on with cloud computing ETFs with our ETF research director, Nina Mishra, who joins me here. So this whole cloud computing thing is getting real popular. Yes, uh, the, we have seen very fast growth, exponen exponential growth in this area. Mm -hmm. And in fact, two of the three largest companies in the US, uh, Microsoft and Amazon, uh, they reported much better than expected results last month. And that was thanks mainly uh, to uh, exponential growth in their cloud computing mm. businesses. And uh, so many companies are switching to cloud now uh, because it is cheaper, faster, more secure than traditional computing services. And in simple words, cloud computing is just basically delivery of these computing services, including uh, databases, uh, servers, networking resources over the internet by an external cloud provider. Mm. Uh, so companies, they do not have to spend on buying and maintaining their servers, servers yeah. databases and everything. Instead, they can just get, they can just rent uh, state of the art equipment and services from an external cloud provider and mm. it results in lower cost, higher productivity, much better speeds, uh, enhance security too, and companies can scale up or down uh, their computing resources needs uh, according to their business needs. They don't have to spend a lot, so better agility and flexibility too. And cloud computing market, global cloud computing market is expected to grow to more than 300 billion by 2022 from about 188 billion currently, that is according to Global X computation. So it seems like it's going to be here for a while. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have a couple of these ETFs that we're going to look closer at. The first one being First Trust Cloud Computing ETF. So there are two uh, popular ETFs in this space. Uh, this is the old one. The other one launched very recently, but it has been very popular with investors. Uh, so this uh, holds pure play, non-pure play, and technology con conglomerates, bigger technology companies. So if you want to, and the ticker is SKYY, if you want to learn more about this ETF, the best way is to go to uh, code page on zax.com for SKYY. You can read the repo report, you can read our articles, and as I mentioned, it charges 68 basis sorry, it char charges 60 basis points in expense ratio. And you can go to external homepage of uh, First Trust to learn more about this ETF. And as I mentioned, this includes pure play cloud computing companies, which are direct service provider for the cloud network, hardware storage, storage, and these kind of companies that deliver goods and services that utilize cloud computing technology. Then non-pure cl pure play cloud computing companies, which are which focus outside uh, cloud computing space, but provide some goods and services. Then there are technology conglomerates, uh, which are like the Microsofts and Googles mm. and Amazons of the world, mm -hmm. uh, big technology companies uh, that have different, very diverse revenue streams, but they also provide or utilize cloud company, uh, cloud computing technology. And for technology conglomerates, 10% uh, of the index weight is uh, assigned. It's limited to 10% of the index weight. And within each of those categories, companies are equally weighted. Now, if you look at the holdings, uh, some of the well-known cloud uh, computing companies like Zynga, VMware, Facebook utilizes, Netflix utilizes, these kind of cloud computing companies you will see in the ETF. Okay, the other company is the, or the other ETF is the Global X Cloud Computing ETF. Uh, so this launched just uh, last month and it, al it already has gathered more than 122 million in assets, been very popular with investors. Uh, this holds companies which derive at least 50% or 500, at least 500 million revenue from cloud computing. 
Uh, now, as I mentioned uh, for the other one, for this also, you can go to Zach Goat page on zax.com and you can learn more about this ETF. It has an expense ratio of 68 basis points, which is slightly more than SKYY. And you can go to the external home page of, uh, of this ETF, the web page, uh, Global X, and you can learn more about this ETF. And uh, in fact, if you want to dig even deeper, you can look at the index of the ETF and learn how it selects and weights companies for inclusion in the uh, index and the ETF. So as I mentioned, these companies, they should derive at least 50% of their revenue from the themes like software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. This also includes some data center REITs and other companies. And uh, if uh, companies do not fall into this category, uh, it also includes some companies that derive at least 50 million of their revenue from public cloud infrastructure. So this is, uh, the, these are the companies, the technology giants, uh, like Microsoft, Soft and Amazon mm -hmm. that have diverse revenue streams. They are not pure play cloud computing companies. The ones that derive at least 50% of their revenue are pure play cloud computing companies. These are not pure, uh, pure, pure sorry, pure play cloud computing companies, but they derive six, a significant proportion of revenue from cloud computing. So uh, Microsoft and Amazon would fall into these category. Uh, for the pure play cloud computing company, uh, they are capped at single security. Um, securities are capped at 4%. And for uh, other companies, the technology giants, they are capped at 2%. So in this ETF, you will see more pure play cloud companies, and it does not include non-pure pure play cloud companies like the uh, First Trust product. Uh, and uh, companies are weighted according to their market capitalization uh, and within those caps. Uh, so again, Zscaler, Workday, Coupa Software, Paycom, uh, Twilio, these are the top holdings in this ETF. All right, so both of these ETFs, are like the representatives of the new model of computing. Exactly. Right? Right. And for people who want exposure to these, these companies. These companies, diverse, low cost exposure in one single wrapper, then ETF makes sense. Okay. So your first chart here, performance chart, is uh, covers a very short time duration. Yeah, because uh, Cloud, the Global X product, uh, it made its debut just last month. So this is through uh, since the inception of uh, Cloud. Uh, as you can see, market has been very volatile during yeah. this period. Yeah. Uh, so Cloud is almost flat, whereas the other ETF SKYY and the S&P 500 index they are down about 2.5% during this period. But if we broaden that look out to five years, how does that change? Yes, uh, so I have the longer performance because SKYY has been around for a long time. So I have the five, five year performance chart here and you can see that SKYY has almost doubled, uh, has returned more than double that of the S&P 500 index during this period. All right, do you own either one of these? I do own SKYY and the ETF investor portfolio that I manage for our clients. Okay, thanks for the information. You'll keep us updated, I'm sure, on any new trends in this area as all the others you follow. And in the meantime, there is more ETF information always on our website, zax.com, in that section. Use the Funds tab in the top toolbar. It will help guide you there. Don't forget also to use the podcast link at the bottom of the homepage, and that will help direct you to Nina's ETF Spotlight, which is an audio podcast that also covers a wide range of ETF information, also has some interesting guests from time to time. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.